Well, I, I think that I've shown an, an instinct for, to lead since I was uh, young. And I think that as you grow and become part of an organization, that that instinct obviously is going to lead to opportunities uh, for, for you, for anybody. And certainly it did for me. And uh, I have found over the years that as I have grown uh, it, within the organization and developed myself, that I've enjoyed more and more the role of being a leader. Uh, I have spent a lot of time over the years observing and, and reading and uh, going to listen to various leaders as I tried to develop my own leadership style and understand what made a leader successful uh, and came away with a, a pretty specific list of things that I thought were very important in terms of, of leadership. Um, leadership behaviors that in fact we look for in our employees here at Linamar very specifically. Things like being passionate and excited about what you're doing because if you're excited about what you're doing then you're going to create that excitement and motivation in somebody else. Uh, things like being a good planner so you know having the ideas but being able to uh, set out a plan of action that is going to help you meet your goals and then of course importantly meeting those goals. It's not good enough to have a plan unless you execute on that plan. So execution is a very important element, I think, of leadership. Uh, also important is edge and acumen. So the ability to make good decisions uh, really is an important element of being a successful leader that in uh, a situation you can instinctively head in the right direction, that you've developed yourself enough, that you have enough knowledge, that you can make the right decisions uh, and aren't afraid to tackle some of the tougher situations that you might, might encounter is also important in leadership. Uh, and then lastly, communication and motivation. Uh, again, being passionate helps to motivate people, but it's not the only way. Uh, so being able to communicate very effectively, both in written form and being articulate when you speak uh, and motivational when you speak are very important elements in trying to get uh, the people around you to, to follow you and follow your lead. And then lastly, and I think very importantly, showing that you care about your people. Uh, some people may say, care, what's that got to do with leadership? But really, I think that if you show that you care about your people, uh, they'll follow you anywhere. And there's lots of examples of leadership in history where we've seen that. Uh, so, you know, I think all of those six things are very, very important uh, in terms of leadership. It's certainly what we look for and our people uh, here at Lindemar in a very specific way. Well, I think technology has been uh, a very interesting evolution for, uh, for companies that has, first of all, it's allowed us to become much more efficient, or at least we think it's helped us to become much more efficient. In some ways, I think it slows us down. Um, but certainly it makes the world smaller and more reachable. So uh, I think it has enabled leaders to tackle bigger, uh, bigger problems, tackle bigger plans, and uh, look to, to uh, the world instead of uh, a small area that we may not have been able to access without the technology that has evolved over the last 50 or 100 years. Uh, how has it affected leadership specifically? I think uh, it, it has forced leaders to uh, take on new skills uh, and uh, figure out how they can utilize this technology to their advantage. I think it has been helpful in terms of identifying and developing great talent in your organization because you can use technology and systems to help uh, have a very systemized approach to identifying great leaders and, uh, and ensuring that we're developing them properly for the future. So um, I think it has uh, evolved our way of doing business in a very meaningful way.